We're going to talk a little bit about Rogers Communications and their launch of Canada's first commercially available 5G standalone network. We've had two snippets of conversation so far in this broadcast about the importance of 5G standalone networks. Here's yet another example of somebody showing some leadership on the rollout of 5G technology and, and launching this. And, and really, let's talk a little bit about some more of the benefits that this will bring to customers, Ron. Uh, yes, I, I think it's uh, significant because anytime you yeah. see a nationwide 5G standalone network rollout, that yeah. forms the basis for the claim of you know the first commercial one in a yeah. uh, country. That's that's a big news, and and I think what's uh, very important here is that Rogers is I think pointing to how operators can use 5G standalone networks to really drive the use cases and services that will you know, enable them to up their revenue streams and really you know, put the pedal to the metal in terms of uh, making money off of their 5G uh, network right. investments. And uh, what's integral to this is that they partnered with Ericsson and uh, Ericsson's the sole supplier of the 5G core. And that oh, is cool. really... Yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, indeed. And that's um, a, a, a important takeaway because the five G core is really uh, going to be that element that's going to make the five G standalone networks agile and uh, able to support ultra low latency and uh, deliver network slicing capabilities and uh, distributing. Uh, mobile edge computing uh, capabilities and so forth, the disaggregating it and so on. And so uh, that uh, does then uh, indicate, okay, with these capabilities, uh, what are the use cases and services that uh, Rogers is looking at in the immediate term uh, to you know, deliver? And that includes dedicated private networks. Uh, we've certainly have talked about that and how that is certainly um, an example of how operators can make a difference because they have the in-house mobile expertise to really deliver either a managed right. uh, private network service or play an integral role if a enterprise is doing kind of a do-it-yourself approach uh, to do it. And so either way, uh, this is, I think, uh, an ample opportunity for operators to show their mettle and how they can definitely make a difference in terms of using 5G uh, to drive a dedicated uh, private networks uh, aimed at specific verticals. Right. In addition, uh, consumer AR, VR, I think we've seen in roads in Asia. And what I think is interesting is, for example, multi-game, or I mean, multiplayer uh, mm -hmm. AR gaming. And I think uh, this is something that will definitely uh, gain traction because as more and more users have 5G phones, 5G devices, et cetera, uh, they're better able to take advantage of uh, this capability. And it stands to reason because we know gamers are a hardcore bunch and that they will be willing to spend on getting you know, the latest uh, abilities uh, to you know, gain a, an edge, uh, for example, in the competition, or just being able to experience, have a great experience. And right. you know, it's not limited, limited to only uh, gaming. Obviously, there are VR capabilities and so forth uh, that are adjacent to it. In fact, I think uh, Rogers, uh, once they prove how they can sell uh, 5G AR VR capabilities, will have the ability to better sell into the business side because of work from right. home and digital workforce scenarios yeah. uh, where uh, people who are working from home uh, need to use AR VR for things like research and development, uh, for training, um, for digital twin applications and so forth. So yeah, I right. think there's a real clear tangible upside to this. The other examples are public safety, uh, you know, critical infrastructure, right. and that includes a host of uh, capabilities such as drone uh, technology, uh, such as autonomous uh, driving capabilities. All of these things uh, can definitely come together to make, uh, you know, a smart city safer or to do it on an automated 5G network basis. And I think uh, this is something that we've been talking about for a while, but I think uh, Rogers is showing the momentum as how this can really be delivered in a, a high profile uh, use case scenario. And then uh, what is uh, also, I think, important is the fact that Internet of Things, uh, something that uh, was really joined at the hip with the initial uh, 5G network uh, conversations and earliest deployments. And then it kind of got dialed back because, you know, uh, non-standalone networks really weren't 
ready to uh, right. scale and monetize Internet of Things on a mass scale. But I think with standalone networks, that will change. And so we're looking at, you know, the continuous build out of IoT capabilities, sensors and so forth that right. can be orchestrated by a 5G network and allow operators to monetize that on not just a, a midterm, but also certainly a long term uh, basis. So taking these all together, I think it's a, an important announcement. And it's also interesting that uh, when they're talking about their 5G device certification, that the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro uh, smartphones were highlighted. And that's you know good news for customers yeah. and ecosystem because we know, at least in uh, North America and other uh, markets, uh, that Samsung and Apple you know, dominate uh, 5G smartphone handsets. Right, and right. You know, this could be a nice way to rustle things up. And uh, yeah. you know, I think it's interesting that Google's getting uh, this uh, prof high profile um, announcement to help drive awareness of, uh, hey, you know, we got something uh, to offer, you know, the 5G uh, customers out there. Right. So, you know, this is, you know, it's, it's just an encouraging announcement across the board. Mm -hmm. I had a Google Pixel phone for a while. I'm, you know, somebody gave it to me, and it's actually a really cool phone. No nice. doubt, yes, yeah. yeah. It's, this is, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's just a matter of being able to have the opportunity to right. kick the tires and right. understand, Absolutely. like you know, there there are real choices out there Absolutely. that can save you money or deliver a better experience yeah. and so forth. <laughs> Absolutely.